Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you so much for being here. As always, this morning, we're gonna be discussing exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, as well as the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Just before we get into that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well so you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. All right, let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are once again in the green this morning. We have the Dow futures up 0.47%, S&P 500 futures up 0.32%, and the NASDAQ the most flat of them at 0.01% currently. Bitcoin is back above the $30,000 price point and actually up above $31,000 as we gear up for the B word today at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is where Elon Musk, Jack Dorsey, and Kathy Wood will have a live discussion on how Bitcoin is perceived by the mainstream. Chip manufacturer Intel said that its subsidiary Mobileye has started testing self-driving cars in New York City. Mobileye chose New York City for testing as the city presents unique challenges, including aggressive drivers, jaywalking, double parking, famously bright city lights at night, and construction sites. Hence, successful testing would mean that its self-driving car is capable of handling the most difficult driving environments. They're also testing their self-driving cars in Detroit, Munich, and Israel, and expect to start testing in Tokyo, Shanghai, and Paris soon. Currently, Mobileye is the only autonomous vehicle company to have secured a permit to test drive in New York City. Analysts are a bit divided on the Intel stock as it currently comes in as a hold rating with an average upside of about 12%. Those price targets range from a downside of nearly 24% to an upside of 54%. Digital payment company Square has launched Square Banking to help small businesses best manage their cash flow. Square Banking's offerings primarily include three products, Square Savings, Square Checking, and Square Loans. The three products have been developed to alleviate the problems of managing cash flow for small business owners. They said that we're introducing fair, accessible financial services that connect directly with our sellers' payments, helping them unlock instant access to their sales, automate their savings, and receive personalized financial offerings. Analysts rate the Square stock a moderate buy with an average upside potential of 15%. Shares of the Smile Direct Club are up a few percent this morning after they announced that the 11th Circuit Court has ruled in the company's favor. Smile Direct Club is an oral care company known for its groundbreaking teeth straightening technology. The company has a long ongoing legal battle against the Georgia Dental Board and Alabama Dental Board for their anti-competitive behavior. Yesterday, an en banc panel of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit sided with the company, rejecting the Georgia Board of Dentistry's attempt to shield itself from antitrust liability through an interlocutory appeal. Analysts do rate the Smile Direct Club as a hold currently, but it does have an average upside potential of nearly 65%. Winnebago announced that it has entered into an agreement to acquire pontoon boat manufacturer Barletta Pontoon Boats in a deal worth $255 million cash. The deal is expected to close in the first quarter of fiscal year 2022. With this buyout, Winnebago fortifies its marine portfolio with access to Barletta's products and services. Moreover, with expected 2021 revenues and EBITDA of $214.6 million and $26.4 million respectively, the company expects the acquisition to be value accretive to its cash earnings per share and EBITDA margins. The Winnebago stock comes in as a strong buy from analysts with an average upside of nearly 32%. Now let's move over to some notable earnings reports. Starting off with Netflix, who did beat with revenue but missed on earnings. Their earnings per share came in at $2.97 versus $3.16 expected. Their revenue came in at $7.34 billion versus the $7.32 billion expected. They said that COVID created some lumpiness in their membership growth, with higher growth in 2020 and slower growth this year, which is working its way through. 
Many eyes were on what Netflix anticipates for their next quarter. They said that they expect to have 3.5 million net ads in subscribers, while investors had anticipated 5.46 million subscribers. Analysts currently rate the Netflix stock a moderate buy, with an average upside just shy of 13%. We also heard from United Airlines. They reported higher second quarter revenue and a narrower loss thanks to a resurgence in air travel. Their adjusted earnings per share came in at a loss of $3.91, which was fairly in line with expectations, and total revenue came at $5.47 billion versus $5.37 billion. The airline said it ended the second quarter with about $23 billion in available liquidity. United executives are scheduled to discuss the results and provide a more in-depth outlook later this morning. And it seems analysts are waiting to hear from them before updating any price targets as we don't have any updated for the last eight days. The stock currently comes in as a hold with an average upside of about 30%. And we also heard from Ally Financial, who reported better than expected second quarter results. The company reported adjusted earnings of $2.33 per share, higher than the $1.46 per share estimated by analysts and comparing favorably with $0.61 cents recorded in the same quarter last year. Their net revenues of $2.09 billion surpassed the estimates of $1.87 billion and compared favorably with $1.61 billion reported last year. Analysts rate their stock a strong buy with an average upside of 24%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by ChemBio Diagnostics. Trading under the ticker CEMI, they're currently up 106% in the pre-market. They're followed by Pain Reform under PRFX, currently up 29% and Extent Medical Holdings under XTNT, currently up nearly 22%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Staffing 360 Solutions. Trading under the ticker STAF, they're currently down 19%, followed by Neurobo Pharmaceuticals under NRBO, currently down 13%, following a gain of 40% yesterday, and Sleep Number under SNBR, currently down over 11%. So that'll be everything for Wednesday's pre-market morning update, bringing you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday and I will see you back here next time.